So another thing that we need to cover is MV temp tables. It's inside the ballistic engine inside your Kestrel. So you go to Muzz velocity, scroll down to MV temp. We're going to talk about what this does for you. Now, a lot of guys don't use this. So we go out and we shoot, we true our gun. Once we get zeroed, we shoot all the way out to mile and everything works great. But the problem is once you take that ammo and then shoot it at a different temperature, your elevation hole is not going to be the same. So it depends on how temperature sensitive your ammunition is. So something that we end up doing is basically building in the Kestrel your MB temp table. So if you shoot and you're running 2520 at 20 degrees, and then we're running 2550 at 50 degrees, and again, 2580 is a muzzle velocity at 80 degrees. Once you plug this in, so you'll go to muzzle velocity, you'll scroll down to MV temp, you'll plug in a new entry. So you'd like this, you'd plug in 2520 was the velocity at 20 degrees. Now you need to know the actual temperature of the ammunition. This isn't your density altitude. These are two different problems that we have to manage. So your 20 degrees is the actual temperature of the ammo. So you can buy a little, uh, Temperature tester, they cost about $30 on Amazon. Lays the ammo, see what the temperature of the ammo is. Then when you shoot it, either through truing or through the chronograph, that's what you'd plug in. So we're just using these numbers to show you how the system works. All right, so then once you get two or three, preferably three or more, but it, once you find what your velocity is running at different temperatures, then when you collect your actual atmospherics, like this, we'll say it's 70 degrees, it runs straight up and will now say 2570 is the velocity of your ammo at that temperature. So the Kessel is going to take care of it for you. It's going to manage, but you have to have knowns. A lot of times what we do, we end up freezing the ammo. We'll test the ammo, see what temperature it is, and then we'll go out and shoot through the chrono or true it, and then we're off and running. Then you have, that's your cold temperature. Now we'll take and lay some uh, potentially on the dash of a vehicle, turn the uh, defrost on, heat it up to about 120, 130 degrees, test it. Again, we've got two major data points. We've got the super cold, close to 20, 30 degrees, and then we're up around 120 or 130. So what we see a lot of times with ammunition when we're testing 308, that 118 LR that the military used for a long time, uh, this has reloader 15 in it. A lot of times this ammo would be 160 feet per second in a 100 degree swing. So if we tested at 40 to 140 degrees, we would see 160 feet per second increase in velocity. That's huge. That's a, a horrible miss. All right, so we switched and went to AB39. AB39 has IMR 4064. All right, this ammunition we see in that same 100 degree swing of Fahrenheit, we see only 60 degrees or 60 feet per second swing. So it's a lot more temperature stable and that's what we're looking for. A lot of times powders like H1000, we won't see anything. So I'll still do the same test, but I'll take my 300 Norma out I'll freeze the ammo, shoot it at ambient temperature, 70 degrees. And what I found was at 1200 meters, they both hit the same spot. So it depends on your actual powder and how temperature sensitive it is. But if it is sensitive to temperature, this is what we have to do to manage. So once you plug in the data points, of actual temperature of the ammunition, not the day, and then we plug in the velocity. Now that will actually manage everything as far as what you need to do in controlling your temperature sensitivity. So another problem that we actually may encounter is when we've actually done our truing and our zeroing at a hotter temperature, now we've moved into a cold environment and we have, we have basically our MV table running, we've actually done the work. But now we have our ammunition and it's hotter because our jacket's over our body and over our ammunition. Now we have hot ammunition, but we have, still have a cold temperature. So what we have to do is lazy ammo, plug in with the temperature, uh, MV temp table on. We'll plug in the temperature of the ammo at 70 degrees. Then we will turn off the MV temp table. By doing this, we're locking in the velocity at that temperature of the ammo. Then once we turn it off, we'll collect our update our environment. Once we do that, it gives us a correct drag function for density altitude at the correct velocity.